1 John 5, starting in verse 9. We accept man's testimony, but God's testimony is greater, because it is the testimony of God which he has given about his Son. Anyone who believes in the Son of God has this testimony in his heart. Anyone who does not believe God has made him out to be a liar, because he has not believed the testimony God has given about his Son. And this is the testimony. God has given us eternal life, In this life is in his Son. He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. He says, I write these things to you who believe, so that you may know that you have eternal life. If we throw works into the mix with faith, we can never know if we have eternal life. How can we know how many works are enough? If we throw works into the mix, then we have done the exact same thing that every religion in the world has done. We have said what Jesus did was not enough. We need to add to the blood of Jesus. We need to add to God in the flesh dying on a cross for our sins. The only thing that we can add to that is faith. Faith in what Jesus did on our behalf, believing that that was sufficient. That when he said, it is finished, he did not mean to say, I've done my part, now you go do yours. If someone asked you, what must I do to be saved, and you add works to faith in Christ, I would ask you again, how many works are enough? You cannot know that you have eternal life if you're not trusting in the work of Christ, if you are trusting in your own work because it is impossible to know when enough is enough. Jesus paid it all. All to him we owe. And if we don't know that and believe that, then we are very deceived. Please trust in Jesus.